Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here. And I have prepared so pretty Aurora Chrome set of the news for you. Have a little preview of it in here. Absolutely amazing with those added uh, Valentine's twist into it. And I hope you will really enjoy it. So let's start. Very minimalistic set, but also so pretty, which we are going to create. So as you can see it here, I've got Aurora uh, pigment on this nail, and we are going to apply it on all of them. So high shine, no wipe top gel. I actually have got Aurora pigment on my nails as well, and it looks always so pretty. And depending on the color you apply, it will look slightly different. I actually really love it on white. I think it just shows the, the prettiest colors over white. Okay, so the first tip is applied. Let's cook it. Do it on another one. When you're applying the top coat for the chromes, like check how the lights reflect uh, on it, especially when you've got some buffed uh, surface, um, so it doesn't give too many rough bits and pieces. Because chromes really enlarge any kind of imperfection. Uh, and when I'm doing a chromes for my clients as well, I kind of tend to go for an extra buffing just to make sure the surface is really nice and smooth. Okay, and then another tip is ready. And we are going to give it a cure. I have also in the meantime done the middle uh, finger. So it's a very simple crystal placement. Um, just in time for a Valentine's and to give you an idea. And I'll, I'm going to show you how this look was achieved. Okay, so we've got it here. Uh, on the pinky, because it's ready, we are going to go very simple uh, crystal placement, not over the top. And for crystals application, I'm using the Soak of Base Gel. And the crystals done this way last you ages, like really ages. So just a very simple one. We are going to place a larger crystal in the middle and then two smaller ones on the top. Crystals around the cuticle area always looks really nice and pretty. Very minimalistic look, but absolutely amazing. Okay, that's them done. So give them a flash cure. Also, my first tip is ready. So the top coat has to be cured 60 seconds and then we are going to wrap in the chrome over it. And it looks absolutely amazing. Do it on another tip. Okay. 
I like to really massage the chromes into the nails. Uh, I feel like it gives a better results if you get rid of all those loose particles. And it's a definitely a nice color combination for Valentine's. I mean, not only for a Valentine's Day, like I'm sure your clients would be happy to, to wear this set like for every day because it's not over the top. And that's what I love the most. Okay, so let's finish the pinky. Just in a corner so everything goes together. We are going to use the smallest caviar bits ever. And I'm always curing the crystals first if I want to use the caviar beads. Now we are going to apply a small amount of it. And then just pick up those caviar beads. They do really finish the design off. Like since I started using them, I was really scared uh, how they're going to last, like and uh, if the clients um, will like them but they are absolutely fantastic and they never comes off like i also find it that by using the caviar beads we are kind of making the crystal transition smoother and it makes the crystals last longer like really um, because you don't get that catchy bits and pieces such a minimalistic but very pretty look let's cure it And then we are going to do it on the thumb, exactly the same combination like we did it on the middle finger. So in order to do that, I'm placing like a larger, maybe not exactly the same, but kind of similar. I'm placing a large scoop of the base gel. <coughs> and then I'm going to use a heart shape um, in gold color. So just pick up one. And then place in there. Give it a cure. And in the meantime, I've got time to do something on those nails. And I'm actually going to create sli something slightly different on the ring finger. Let me just check which one is definitely a ring finger. So that will be my ring finger. I still want to keep the, this kind of idea, but we'll go in a um, twisted look, I would say, instead of just a simple heart shape. So pick up another heart. And again, oh, maybe lower actually, because we want to do this twisted look. And then give it a cure. And then I'm going to do the twisted look here as well. Oh gosh, I'm terrible. Design on the go, as always. There we are. They are all ready. And we are going to grab some Swarovski Pixie as a next step. So a decent amount of the base gel. And place it inside the heart inside the heart and just to make my life easier and don't sprinkle the pixie all over the place i'm just going to place it at here and i will pick up from that that's so pretty look at this guys <clears throat> 
key and dip in my brush and just place it, it into the heart. I find, uh, I find it actually the pixie which is done this way um, it's not as annoying for a client because you've got something which surrounds it and uh, make the transition smoother. And then give it a flash cure. It's like a crushed crystal heart. And then same on this one. Crystal's applications always takes time and uh, but it's definitely worth it, the end results. If, if your crystals doesn't want to come off like it did on mine, I'm cleaning the brush, the excess of the base gel, and then they are easier to release. You can see it. That is much easier now. I just had too much base on my brush. And then flash cure it. Okay, so on this one, I want to kind of go in a twisted shape. So I would create something like this and a swirl and then some sort of swirl here as well let me show you what I mean so let's put the pixie on the side so we don't lose it and then using the crystals we are going to start creating those shape this one that's actually a good size to start with. So I'm just placing those three large crystals there. And then three on the opposite side. What I did, I mixed it my crystals because I don't like when they are in the wrong direction, it just takes a longer time. Actually, when you've got a mm, nearly empty uh, pack, it's much easier to pick them up than when they are full. Okay, so three crystals on that side. And then the smaller crystals. That's plenty. We don't want to make the heart too small, so three. One, two, and three. Uh, also, please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see uh, more crystal placement ideas. Uh, obviously, I've got always lots. That actually looks so... Oh, gosh, should we put two more? <laughs> like my mom always says no when it comes to crystals. I think like it will almost finish it off. Let me check it. It might be either too much or it might be just nice. I can always take it off if I don't like it. So one and two. It isn't too much. It just runs through the entire nails and I prefer it to be honest. Sorry, cameraman. Sometimes you're right, sometimes I'm right. <laughs> 
I think I'm actually gonna love this set just because it has so many crystals on it. There we are. Okay, I'm happy with this one, so we are going to cure it. Keep the pinky simple and easy. Now here on this one, I'm going to go opposite side. So three large, three large. I think it will just make the design more interesting. Grab more base gel. And then place the smaller crystals. If the crystal doesn't want to come off from the tool, that's mean you have not enough base gel and it's just making your work much longer. I have also reshaped the waxing tool. I actually love those crystals that they come in the pack where you've got all the different sizes because it's so much easier to do your crystal placement. And I've got so many different ideas how you could use the crystals uh, if, if you want to see it, obviously. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with this one as well. <clears throat> and then just so the things don't feel empty, I'm going to add some caviar beads here and there. Not too many, just a few. And also so it uh, connects with the other uh, tips as well. So I've got three to make the transition kind of smoother. And then single ones. I think it just looks much prettier. It's almost like finish it off. Okay, now we have to add some crystals here as well. Just so this doesn't feel lonely. So let's go around this heart. Just like this. And then pick up the largest stone. 
like this one is really large in that corner you can even do no that will be too much oh maybe not it's a thumbnail so three really large ones and smaller One side is going to be bigger and one side will be smaller. Okay. And then the smaller side. Inside I'm going to place the smallest crystal. And then the smaller ones again. So all idea about it is that we've got some sort of blink surrounding the, the gems. Okay, I'm happy with this one, so I'm going to give it a cure. Put a couple caviar beads on the other one to finish it off. I do actually love this set because it's so elegant as well. You cannot go wrong with crystals. Probably if I would be really fancy, I could go with the caviar beads around every single crystal here. I might do that off the camera. Because <laughs> I think it will look just amazing. Okay. Let's cook it. It will, absolutely. Anyway, on this one, we are going to use the caviar bits to fill up any empty spaces, okay? And kind of give it a heart shape. So we've got them here. We've got them there to match the size. And we've got them here as well. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going to grab some other sizes of the caviar bits we've got them here as well. So you can see the difference in the sizes, like that's a medium size <laughs> compared to the one I'm using. Um, like it's unbelievable the difference in the size. So let me place those larger ones in here. I just thought of them because they will fill up the space uh, much faster than with the smaller ones. And I think it will also give it more interesting look. Okay, let's freeze it. <laughs> and because my tip has to freeze it, this is not going to take me a long time. And I think it just makes a huge difference. Sorry, uh, cameraman, I know you hate them. I just love them. Like, I really do love them. So what I'm always doing, I'm placing a small amount of the base gel around the crystals and then just shovel them in into those uh, empty spaces to finish the look. I 
I'm actually stressing because cameraman hates him. <laughs> He's standing there like thinking, oh no, again. You don't say anything. Okay, that's good. My hand can stop shaking then. Two and then the three. So I like to finish the crystals with three caviar. See, this is much prettier. Like I, I feel just it does finish it off. Like really finish it off. I'm just pushing them so they kind of in a similar distance, much, much prettier compared to the bottom one. Let's freeze it <coughs> and finish this one off as well. So again, a decent amount of the bees gel and we are going to fill this up with the smaller ones. The smaller ones are easier um, to kind of get the shape you really want. I am really not too fussy how they go. I, I really want to just uh, fill up empty spaces to get those nice hard shape. You could really do it uh, just with the crystals, but I think it's, it's more interesting done this way. Something different. Can you just check how the heart shape looks? I'm very happy with the top part. I'm not happy yet with the bottom part, so that the top part has a really nice curve. almost there yeah and I'm quite happy with this one I'm going to freeze it I have seen some people using the um, Wax picker for the caviar beads. I think I cannot imagine doing them uh, that with the wax picker. I would get lost. They're so tiny. And because they're so small, they are harder to apply. But they look prettier. And then three at the end. <clears throat> Finish off the other side and then we can top coat it the entire set. So just very single ones.
One, two, Here in this large gaps, I'm going to place three. Here we are. And I'm happy with this one give it a cook. We can start to coating them and then I can show you the final results uh, of this pretty set. So the pinky, nice and simple, really easy one. Let's top coat it. And when I'm top coating, I'm going against the crystals, like kind of give it a shaky motion. I'm quite often top coating also the caviar beads as well. Give those nice and shaky motion. and then cook it. Top coat this one as well. Again, go nicely around those crystals and shake emotion just so the top coat really gets through it around it. Let's make it at last better. Cook it. Top coat this one. I like this one. Like I do really like it a lot. And I'm glad I did it on two nails uh, because it looks really pretty. If you're struggling going with the brush from the top coat, uh, just grab the small brush and you can go around the crystals with the small brush. I'm kind of trying to always twist my top coat uh, brush like into different directions so I can just go where I need to go. Yeah, those ones are my favorite ones. Cook it. When the other ones are cooking, because I cannot show you them, I'm going to just add a couple more caviar beads. If I don't finish them by the time the other ones are cooked, I will just finish off the camera. Um, because I definitely want the caviar beads on all of them, because that's my favorite one. So no press, no press, no, no pressure. If I finish, I finish. If I don't finish, I will do it later. I've got the entire 60 seconds. Because I'm terrible for under curing my top coat uh, when I'm showing you the final results. Anyway, I hope you have really enjoyed this tutorial and you have learned another crystal placement. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of that. Um, crystals design because there is so many different possibilities uh, you could do it. Okay, that's this one ready. So let me show you the pinky. It can just go in here. So that's our pinky. Here we are, then we've got the, that will be our ring finger, or the same. Oh, I love this one. It looks so pretty against the other ones. Look at this, guys. Like, this one is definitely the nicest one. You could do the set, like, just plain Aurora and just a one ring finger like this. And I think it will look absolutely fantastic. Then we've got the thumb. And obviously this will be a middle finger, but it's not finished yet, and I don't want to... Uh, place it at unfinished so that's that will go in here uh, but I hope you have really enjoyed this pretty set I will have to take a nice thumbnail picture for it I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now